Is the Rupert Neve MBT Master Bus Transformer the SSL Fusion Killer? Right, this is a question I have been asked recently since getting the MBT uh, quite a lot. You know, in, in the comments section on the review that I did, lots and lots of people asked this question. Um, it's quite a popular question because, you know, lots of people have got the SSL Fusion. I've always recommended it to anyone that's starting a mastering chain, first piece of equipment, SSL Fusion is a great choice. And the reason for that is, you put an SSL Fusion in, it's a little bit of everything. It's not, look, each piece that's in the SSL Fusion isn't high top end. You know, it's not it's not incredible. The Violet EQ's okay. The high frequency compression, uh, it's okay. The Transformer, meh, it's, it's not great in my opinion. Uh, the Stereo Widener, it's, it's pretty good. Um, the Vintage Drive, eh, it's all right. You can't use it in mastering, but too noisy, but it's all right. The filter, yeah, it's, it's a filter. Look, the one thing that the SSL Fusion has that the MBT doesn't is the mid-side insert point, and that's brilliant because there isn't anything, uh, I mean, there are, there, there's, there's, there's modules uh, in 500 series, IGS, Biasum 500. Um, that's a mid-side processor. You can get, uh, there's, there's others that are around about £1,000. But the thing with the Fusion is they're about 15, 1600 in the UK. Um, and I say that in the UK because they're a lot more expensive elsewhere. The UK, 15, 1600. You can get them at SX Pro. The cheapest I've seen them is on their shop. 1500 I think they are, they're still highly relevant. It's not like the MBT just goes, right, the MBT's come out, no one's ever gonna buy a SSL Fusion again. Of course they are. They're totally different price brackets. You've got the MBT, what is it, about 3,800? It's, you know, expensive, it, is, it isn't cheap. Whereas 1500 for the SSL Fusion, that's reasonable that most people can can who are in audio will will kind of look at it and go yeah yeah I can I can I can warrant purchasing that um so at 1500 what you're basically getting is is a little bit of everything and a mid-side insert and I say the mid-side insert obviously you can insert in stereo but but the real key thing and the big selling point for it from from professional audio's point of view is that mid-side insert it gives you a mid-side point where you can insert, let's say an EQ, use the left side to, to control the mid, and use the right side of the EQ to control the sides. It's brilliant, right? For that purpose alone, it the MBT doesn't kill it off. A um, few people have said, why didn't they put um, a mid-side insert into the Fusion? Well, I don't see where and how it would actually be used. I put two of these together. I've done a video review on that a little while ago where I put two MBTs and used one for the sides, one for the mids. And it worked all right. It worked pretty good. But I actually preferred it working in stereo. Um, so it doesn't kill it off because of the fact that it's in two price brackets. You've got 1500 you've got 3800 You know, right. Here's the thing, if you don't need the mid, if, if we take the mid side insert out of the equation and it's just the SSL Fusion box without the insert, it falls far behind what the um, MBT is. The MBT in every single aspect of it, the Violet EQ versus the EQ on the MBT, the MBT EQ is somewhat better. It is a better EQ. It does sound... It does sound really nice and really passive, actually. Um, you can compare the uh, vintage drive on the Fusion to the Ultra, uh, what is it, the uh, Super Silk on the MBT. Super Silk, incredible. Vintage drive, <clears throat> it's not great. It's, it's okay but you can't use it in mastering. It's way too noisy. Whereas the Super Silk is a high, it is to me, it's a high end um, saturation for Silk Blue and Silk Red. It's brilliant. 
Um, the high frequency compressor you could compare with the color comp. High frequency compressor on the Fusion, it's okay. It's it's not as good as as if you had a dedicated high frequency compressor like the MPL2 by Masalek. That's a proper high frequency compressor, whereas the the Fusion one is just okay. And that's the thing with a Fusion is every piece is it's, it's okay. And eventually, and the reason I don't have Fusions anymore is eventually, as you buy more and more pieces of equipment, it replaces the Fusion. And you'll get an EQ, you'll put an EQ in, the Fusion EQ stops getting used. You get a high frequency compressor in your chain, the high frequency compressor on the uh, Fusion doesn't get used. Same with the stereo widener. It ends up where all you'll be using it for is the insert. And that's gradually as your chain increases in size and certain things replace it. And that's why I took it out, because I replaced it for the SPL Gemini, which has is a mid-side box. Um, so when we compare them as well, is we've got the width on the MBT compared to the width on the, uh, the Fusion. The Fusion width, width is actually very good because it has the, um, the width and the space. The space is good for the low end. Um, however, the, the width on the MBT, we can select where that frequency, where, where, the, where the width is being increased. So we can, we can take it out of, of increasing the width in the low end. So we can really be pinpoint accurate with where we, what we actually want to increase in the width. Um, the transformer on the Fusion, it's, I can guarantee you, if you've got a Fusion, you'll have pressed that and you've gone, is it, is it, is it on? And you won't know because it's very, very minimal. If anything, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's to me, it was quite a pointless thing to have <coughs> because, you know, I've got transformers that I activate and I can hear that, you know, I can hear that transformer. I can, I can notice it. Whereas the Fusion one, not, not so much. And someone left a comment on the, uh, on the MBT review, uh, last night, actually, which, which I read this morning and they, they, they really kind of summed it up where they said in comparison between the Fusion and the MBT, the Fusion is like a plug-in and the MBT is like real analog. And I was like, yeah, kind of. The, the Fusion does sound, I mean, I've done tests where I've tested the plug-in version against the Fusion and you know, there's there's minimal difference. It, it, it doesn't seem to have that kind of, any sort of real life to it that's that's real high end. And look, the thing with a Fusion, £1,500. You can't really go wrong until you start adding better equipment that generally replaces it. Look, when it comes to building a chain, SSL Fusion, brilliant. Um, would I, what, what one would I recommend? Look, I, in terms of what one I recommend, the, if I was starting a chain, I'd say get the Fusion. The Fusion's going to be, a more affordable option um, and then it can be replaced once once you get further down the line replace it with an MBT the MBT is expensive you know they're 3,800 that isn't that isn't cheap but if you were to compare the sound of the fusion versus what you can achieve with an MBT um, you will get a better sound from the MBT so, I mean, really and truly, is it the killer? No, it's not, it's not killed it off. It isn't, it hasn't killed it off. What I would say is it ha, ha, the MBT has not killed off the SSL Fusion. The SSL Fusion is gonna sell, still sell thousands of units. What the MBT's done is it's given us everything that we wanted in the fusion at high-end audio in one box um if they'd have put the thing is, is if they'd have put a mid-side insert into the mbt that would have been brilliant 
But for me, I wouldn't be using it because I have something else. But it would have been brilliant to have. But the problem it would have done, it's not a £3,800 box anymore. It's a £4,800 box, which then puts it into that touch too high that you're really only looking at high-end professionals who, who can warrant spending 4800 on a piece of kit. Whereas 1500 majority of people um, will look at the Fusion and go, yeah, wicked, 1500 it's affordable, and I get a little bit of everything, and that mid-side insert. So I don't think it's the killer, but I think what you've got now is a product that is the Fusion, but it's high-end. For the high end, more high end professional, the pe people that can warrant spending three thousand eight hundred on a piece of kit. Now, I I wouldn't put I wouldn't put the fusion into this chain because it just wouldn't ever get used. It would never ever get used. Whereas the MBT gets used every time. Um, the MBT is an exceptional. It's an exceptional processor. It really is good. Um, so, yeah. That's my honest opinion on it. And look, if you've got an SSL Fusion, would buying an MBT be an upgrade? Yes. If you don't require the mid-side insert. Could you buy them both and put them both together? Of course you could. I mean, you could even... No, I was going to say you could even put the MBT on the insert of the Fusion, but you really need independent left and right control to make <clears throat> good use of that um, that mid-side insert. Um, could you have them both together? Yes. But again, you'd probably end up not using a lot of the Fusion. So in some ways, the MBT is the SSL Fusion killer if you don't require the mid-side insert and budget wasn't a, wasn't an issue. Um, if you want a processor that's going to do a little bit of everything, but it's very affordable, SSL Fusion. That's your one to go for. Um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, the SSL Fusion is the one that I recommend anyone get if they're if they're if they're going right. I'm going to start a mastering chain. I'm, what box do I buy first? SSL Fusion. Don't buy the MBT. The MBT is cool. The MBT, don't get me wrong, the MBT is brilliant and it will do a good job start your mastering chain. But the difference is, is for the price of the MBT, you could get an SSL Fusion and then spend another 2300 on a um, dual mono EQ. And then you've got something that's, that's very, very usable. Um, it's not like the it's not like the SSL Fusion. Each piece <clears throat> isn't good. It, it is good. It's just not as good as the MBT. And that's that's my honest opinion on it. 